Well, it was a, quite a funny occasion. I, I wasn't expecting it. And <laughs> you look back and you think, how, can, how could I miss all these clues floating about? But however, I did. And we, I was pounced on in London in a hotel with my agent saying, we're en route to Thames Television in um, Teddington because you know, I thought I was going to be on the Des O'Connor show. And I um, never, never got to meet Des. <laughs> But that's life, as they say. Um, and uh, he said, oh, we're, we're, going in, we're going in a taxi, and we're, I just want you to pop in, and there's somebody I want you to meet. And I said, oh, all right. And we stopped off in this hotel and walked in, and they'd done this replica set. And I didn't really see it. All I saw was Tony Adams, who I'd waved goodbye to as I set off on the train from rehearsal rooms that morning. And I, th- I thought, I said, Tony, what are, you, what are you doing here? I don't understand. And, he, and then suddenly he said, well, look, look. And I looked around and there was the set, <laughs> which they'd brought down at great expense. And uh, I couldn't believe it. So it, it was only really when he pointed it out, look, we've got the set here, you know. I thought, oh, yes. And even, even then I didn't twig until Raymond walked in. <laughs> and then we all went off to Thames and... Um, I'm stuck in a little trailer in the car park. The rest of them are all having a wonderful time in the studios, waiting for everybody else to come down. I was sitting there quite a long time, and makeup kept putting their head around the door, saying, "Are you all right? Have you got? Do you want a cup of tea?" And I'm saying, "I'm fine. I'm fine." And I said, "What's going on?" You know, and they said, "Well, people are arriving, and we'll be doing the show in a minute." And eventually, Eamon came in to see me, and he said, "Oh, we're having real problems." He said, "We're trying to fly everybody down from Birmingham Airport, but there's fog." And we don't quite know what we're going to do. And I said, oh, do you mean we might not do the show? He said, well, it's going to be very difficult to do it without everybody. But don't worry, I'm sure it'll... Anyway, so he, was, he looked a little bit stressed. And looking back, I'd, I sort of vaguely registered that he did seem a bit kind of sweaty and white. You know that look? But I was thinking it was more the worry of the show. Because he's such a big, I mean, he wasn't fat or anything, but he's a big man in many ways. I mean, he was tall, he, he had that wonderful Irish, slight Irish brogue, the depth to his voice, and he was a big-hearted person. And somehow you couldn't believe he was going to drop dead in, well, what was it, 10 days or less? The time I sat in this um, trailer, I sort of went, started to go through it all. Well, then the next panic is, who have they got? Well, I thought it will be everybody from the show. And I was hoping there'd be various other odd people. But, you know, I didn't know who was coming on. Uh, there's odd people I thought it would have been nice if they were there. But they, I found out later they were either ill or in the States or something or doing something, you know. But fun, it was a fantastic day. And, of course, I also have... And now this sounds very strange... I have a record and photographs of my brother who died two years after this. And in the intervening years between then and now, I've been moving quite a bit and I had some stuff in storage. And the the burglars came and they took a, a circular table of mine and they must have put it in their white van and thought, this is going to roll about. And they went back and picked up two boxes labelled photographs and they took them. And they probably didn't realise, they probably thought, oh, there's something else in them, you know. But they were all my photographs. And I have not got photographs of my parents, of me as a child, my brother. And so this is a record for me of him because that wasn't in that box. Because of Amos' death, I don't think it was shown for quite a long time. I think it was about four, five, six months, Um, which was quite disappointing because you were longing to see it. And much as I love having all my family there, which was great, uh, I think they felt quite embarrassed about, you know, they found it quite difficult to cope with. And uh, from from quite a young age, but both my children have not been very impressed by mum being on television, really. Although... I think, looking back, that I've had a charmed life because of it. Because people know me, they smile at me immediately, and they're helpful from the word go. And even sometimes when I'm in a really bad mood, and I'm, you know, I suddenly think, no, we're not getting anywhere. I'll just keep, I'll just smile and be myself, you know, be the, the people that person they expect me to be, and we'll get somewhere. And so I, I, for me, I think it's been fantastic.